My project started when my troop went on a fishing trip and we didn't really catch anything. And we were all really bummed, and, but me especially because I was not used to not catching a fish. My dad has a little boat that he took me and my sister fishing. We'd always usually catch fish, and I loved the feeling of catching a fish. But I wanted these kids to be able to feel that and experience that like whenever they went fishing, not just going to certain spots. So I literally Googled how to increase fish populations. And I found Ocean Habitats, which is a company based in Florida run by a biologist who engineered this artificial reef structure that floated and allowed stuff to grow on it in the water and allowed tiny fish and crabs to go in and make it their home and hide from the big predators. Um, so I was like, that's a good idea. I want to bring that to Mobile. And so I helped put together a website and the donations just started rolling in. I mean, my initial goal was 50 like reefs in total for my whole project. And when it ended almost half a year later, 200 reefs were put into the water. It was really exciting, but I didn't want to just leave it at that because I felt like there could be more done. And so I partnered with PEP, PEP, the Partners for Environmental Progress. PEP is a coalition of companies dedicated to applying science-based environmental best practices to their business. Shell was nominated for PEP's latest Environmental Stewardship Award, which he won, and things have snowballed since. That brought him into our focus, and then we started investigating more about what he had been doing, and we said, you know, this is incredible. I mean, here's a 17-year-old kid who's out there really making a difference in a way, and all he needs is a financial support. With the announcement of a partnership with USA's Stokes School for Marine and Environmental Sciences, that backing is a reality. Marriott's Grand Hotel has already purchased several reefs to go under its marina docks. Ocean Habitat's founder, Dr. David Wolf, says these artificial reefs, tucked away in the unused space beneath piers and docks, can make a huge difference in water quality and habitat. The main concept behind it was that you have wasted space underneath your dock. You don't do anything with it. And what these animals want is shade, because actually some of them that can grow on here have issues with the sun. Um, and you can kind of bring that wasted space to life, you know, and kind of create a little mini oasis underneath your, your dock without interfering in anything else that's going on. The belief is that with Shell's vision, PEP's resources, and USA's connections, the Mobile Bay and surrounding area could see more than a thousand ocean habitats dock reefs go in over the next year. Because of the indus industrial partners, there's discussion about like duplicating this project on in multiple states and I'm like really excited about that. <laughs>